Hello friends, this video on coordination compound part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So next term is the ligand which we uh, want to discuss now. So these ligands are the groups attached to the central metal ions. This is by central metal ions. The groups directly attached to central metal ions in the complex are called ligands. Okay. So ligands can be uh, negatively charged, for example, Cn minus Cl minus C2O4 minus. Okay. It can be neutral, H2O, NH3, CO. So it cannot be positive. It can be negative or neutral. It cannot be positive. And these generally donate electrons to central ions. Since they donate electron, they are Lewis case. Okay. Please note. Either they are negative charge or they are neutral. In case they are neutral, they should have a uh, lone pair of electron to donate. Okay, so we have small ligands. Although we have large ligands, such as these are small ligands. We talk about the large ligands. So we have, for example, NH2, CH2, CH2, CH2. So. We have this is called one two di mean ethene. So we have long ligands. You know we have uh, what do you call we have different kinds of ligands. Actually. We will talk about it. We have chelating ligands. They are they form a chain kind of structure. We we have different type of ligands. We have in fact let's discuss ligands now. So we have different types of ligands. We have monodentate ligands. We have bidentate ligands, we have tridentate ligands, we have hexadentate ligands, we have ambidentate ligands, we have chelate ligands. We have so many types of ligands. Monodentate. We have so many types, we'll discuss this one by one actually. See, this word dentate actually came from the Latin word dentist. That's the same word as dentist, you know dentist? Dentist came. So this word dentist actually word meaning tooth. This is the Latin. And from the same word dentist came. So why this dentate is used? Because this ligands they are thought of biting metal. Okay, at one or more points. Okay, so just think from this perspective. This dented means what? Tooth. Right, the same word dentist. This came dented. So dented means tooth. So ligand ligands actually they have something to donate. This chlorine will donate lone pair of electron. This this guy will uh, ammonia will donate lone pair of electron. It is expected that this ammonia is biting this cobalt. This chlorine is biting this cobalt. Okay. Now, if this is chlorine is biting cobalt at only one place, it will be called monodentate or unidentate. Okay. So the definition is pretty easy. Monodentate. If it has only one atom that can donate lone pair of electron. Because the ligand, the ligands, the basic definition of the ligand is something which donates one pair of electron to the central atom. So if central atom, if a particular ligand only donates only one pair of lone pair, one lone pair, that means it is biting the central atom only once, so it is monodentate. The example can be ammonia, it can donate only once. Cl minus, F minus, water. It can donate only one lone pair of electron means oxygen. CO is a monodentate. In fact, if you talk about the ions, the negative charge ligand, the Cl minus F minus. Okay, more example can be CS3CO minus CN minus. So these are my monodentate ligands because they have only one place to bite the central atom. 
and they have only one lone pair of electron to the next is bidentate ligand so these dentate this ligand has two donors example ethylene diamine we just just now saw ns2 ch2 ch2 ns2 okay so here you see this nitrogen has one pair and this nitrogen has one pair so actually if there is one cobalt so this cobalt can be beaten by this nitrogen and this nitrogen so from two place actually it can donate electron right so the ligand which has two donor atom or it can donate electrons from two different atoms they are called bidentate ligands so the example can be co minus for example g okay so now this oxygen can donate electron this oxygen can donate so there is a nickel metal let's suppose so nickel metal this oxygen can bite this oxygen can bite so two of these can bite this nickel so it will be bidentate or didentate so example here if you see this is my ethylene diamine let's suppose this is my nickel this is a cobalt let's suppose okay this is my ethylene diamine so this is my nitrogen this is my nitrogen so you see this nitrogen is biting cobalt 1 and this nitrogen biting cobalt 1 so overall this particular ligand is biting the cobalt twice same thing here also you see overall this particular ligand is biting the cobalt twice one from this nitrogen one from this nitrogen. if you talk about this let's suppose this is chlorine this chlorine is biting cobalt only once this will be monodentate and this will be bi or didentate okay this is one more example the same thing actually but it is in a uh, figure where you can actually see these values there is a nitrogen here this nitrogen is donating this nitrogen is donating so two things mean the same This is bidentate. This is bidentate. This is unidentate. This is unidentate. Then we have tridentate. Same concept. The ligand which has three donor atoms. That ligand will be tridentate. Okay. The example can be diethylene triamine. So this is something like this. Next two. CH two on the end here, and then CH two, CH two, and then that NH three. And here we have NH two and the NH three. So you see, in this case, there is a lone pair of electron here. There is a lone pair of electron here. There is a lone pair of electron. Here. So if you see, there is one nickel, for example. So here it can form bond. It can form bond. so one particular ligand can bite this nickel from three place okay so this tridentate example in this case this nickel and you see this is one chain one two and this i'll i'll make it in red let's suppose one particular chain this is one you see this particular whole thing is one ligand right starting from here small so thing is one ligand and if you see this particular ligand is biting nickel at 1 2 and 3 place okay similarly we have hexadentate so hexadentate where the ligand are the ligands with six donor atoms example if you see this is a metal and this whole thing what you see is one ligand whole thing is one ligand You see this oxygen, this oxygen, this oxygen, this oxygen, and this nitrogen, and this nitrogen. You see how many uh, atoms to donate electron? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six to donate electron, and this is called EDTA. Also used for purification of water, called ethylene diamine tetraacetate. 
Remember this name, this is pretty useful to confirm. Ethylene diamine tetra acetate. Okay, so one particular metal and so many six sites in a given uh, ligands to donate electron. So it's called hexadentate ligands. One more unique type of uh, ligand is called ambidentate. The moment you think of ambidentate ligand, think of this word ambidextrous. And if you don't know, then you can uh, see your dictionary. This ambidextrous are the people who can write both from their left and right hand. So their left and right hand both work almost uh, equally good. They are called ambidextrous people. So here also ligands which can bind through two different atoms. But at a given point of time, they you will write either from left to right, right? You can't write from both hands. So for example, this NO2. This NO2, if you see, this nitro, this NO2 can bond from nitrogen. NO2, let me draw NO2 for you. This NO2 it has two sides. But at a given point of time, since this is small, right? I mean, these two cannot donate electron to the same metal. Same metal, it cannot donate electron. This is small. Other case we saw was like CH2, CH2, NH2 here, NH2 here. It was big. So at a given point of time, these two can donate electron. Both nitrogen can donate electron to nickel. But in this case, this is small. So at a given point of time, they both will not be able to donate electron. It will create more repulsion and it will be unstable. And that is not possible. But at a given point of time, sometimes nitrogen can donate, sometimes oxygen can donate. So these type of ligands, which has ability to donate electron through two different sides of a ligand. But at a given point of time, only one ligand, only one atom will donate electron. And these are called ambidentate ligands. Other example can be SCN. For example, sulfur in the SCN, either you can get the electron from sulfur or from nitrogen. So this is a metal. Metal is bonded to sulfur in this case. In this case, metal is bonded to nitrogen. This is called thiocyanito. This is called isothiocyanito. Please note this ambidentate ligand differs from bidentate ligand. This is bidentate ligand. Where at a given point of time, there are two sites from where you donate electron, but ambidentate at a given point of time, there's only one site, but they have potential to donate electron from other side. And with that, you get different isomers. For example, this is ambidentate. Right? In this case, the nitrogen is donating electron to this cobalt. In this case, oxygen is donating electron to this. This is bidentate. If you see, at a given point of time, there are two nitrogen molecules here. And they both are donating electron to nickel. Correct? In bidentate ligand, there are two donor atoms, and these two donor atoms can link simultaneously with the metals. But with ambidentate ligands, only one donor atom can link with the central atom at a given point of time. And the reason I told you why, because these are, they are pretty big, and two can actually donate electron, but these are very small. Two of these uh, two cannot actually donate electron. Okay, so that is about ligands. In ligands, we also have donor atoms. So the atom which actually directly attached to the central metal is called donor atom. For example, this particular ligand it has nitrogen, oxygen, both. So in this case, the nitrogen is the donor atom. In this case, oxygen is the donor atom. In this case, nitrogen is the donor atom because these are directly attached to central atom. So in this case, Cobalt is the central atom, in this case nickel is the central atom. So atoms of the ligand that is directly attached to the metal is called donor. One more type of ligands we have is called chelating ligands. Okay. So we have seen different type of ligands till now. For example, these are all ammonia. This is unidented. This is hexadented, ETA we have seen. This is bidented, thalene diamine. And this is tridented. So now I'm talking about the fact where I'm talking about di or poly. That means 
di this is by your di di tri hexa so all these in this case right these case where you are talking about di or polydentate ligands di tri hexa ligands so when these use more than two donor atoms to bind to a single metal ion it is called chelate ligands okay so when for example in this case this is using two donor atom so this is called chelate ligands so this particular is using six donor atoms 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is called chelate ligands in this case this 1 2 3 4 3 is used right on this side This is also called chelate ligand because they form a ring. They they form a chelate complex and they are more stable. So these chelating agents they form more stable complex. This is unidentate ligand and if you see there is no uh, chelate chelating ring actually here. So chelating agents are nothing but my ligands. The ligands where poly di or poly ligands if they use more than two donor atoms to bind for example i have this uh, poly this is bidentate ligands for some reason i have a compound where it is forming only one bond with okay, this is not used for that so in that case it will not be a chelating ligand only when the other is also used and forms a cyclic ring kind of structure it's called a chelating agent right so chelating agent again is nothing but ligands where i'm using bi tri hexa or any polydentate ligands and in making sure that more than two or more than two uh, atoms of that ligand are used to form the bond with the metal and thus it forms a ring kind of structure and it is more stable than my unidentate uh, ligand complex and that is called chelating agents okay So we have used this word dent dent a lot, and with this, there is a term called denticity. That like everything, whatever we read till now, mono dent dent, bi dent dent, hexa dent dent, tri dent dent, poly dent dent, all these things uh, are grouped in this term called denticity. Okay, so denticity is what? Denticity is nothing but number of atoms of a single ligand. Right here. Single ligand that binds to single. So for this ammonia, density is one because one atom is bound. For this ammonia, also density is one. One for these density is one. In this case, the density for this compound is six because six of these atoms for a given ligand are for this ligand. For this ligand, density is two. For this ligand, again density is two. For chlorine, density is one. For chlorine, density is one. Here also, for this particular ligand, density is three, and this other ligand also, density is. So this is for the given ligand. Okay, as I told, why this word came, dentist. This then this density word came from the Latin word dentist that means tooth and it is perceived that this ligand is biting the metal at one more no more one or more than one linkage point. So if it is biting at one point, it is called density is one. If it is biting at six point, density is six. Biting at two point, density is two. Biting at one point again, density is one. Biting at three points, density is Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attend free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.